gosh, man, it's finally here, man. What's good, Rennie Gang, man? Fall is finally here. I couldn't stress that enough. I'm tired of being hot. I know y'all tired of being hot. I'm ready to wear my clothes, man. So we gonna get into fall fashion trends of this year. All right, check this out. I know it's kind of a running meme for people to be like, yo, I can't wait to the fall so I can really dress, you know what I'm saying? But truth be told, like fall is one of those pinnacle seasons to where it's kind of like neutral, where it's not too hot, it's not too cold. You can kind of pretty much wear whatever you like. You can even layer, wear jackets sometimes, wear long sleeve shirts sometimes. So fall is definitely one of the most perfect times of the season. It's personally my favorite of all the seasons that kind of like range between autumn and winter, but that's pretty much just because of the versatility of it. So now that I've expressed my true love for fall, I'm gonna show you guys some trends that I think are really gonna be buzzing this season. Um, some of it I know is gonna be pretty obvious, but I just wanted to give you guys some options and like kind of a range of things to go out and look for if you're trying to get new stuff for this season. So there's kind of a lot that you can talk about when you're talking about trends. There are different styles, different tastes, different people. Um, so to kind of generalize it, this is kind of like what I'm gonna get into and I'm gonna break it down into different groups so you can kind of like stay on track, you get what I'm saying? Now first I'm gonna start off with prints slash colors. Now to kind of get aside from the typical olive, khaki, or like wheat color that everybody seems to wear every fall, I think I'm gonna get into colors that I think will be a lot more bold, a lot more dominant for this fall. Now these colors are probably gonna be like your true primary blues, your greens, yellows and even like orange. I think all these colors kind of incorporate themselves well and I think they fit into a lot of different categories, I guess you can say, or maybe that's not the word I want to use. Or they kind of fit into everybody's like genre style, I guess. Another color you could throw in there is probably like brown. I think brown in that kind of caramel, camel type of color will really, really be nice for this fall just because I think a lot of workwear pieces and stuff like that are in that kind of a color, so that's super trendy, so I think that will all kind of fall into each other. Now, another thing that I wanted to get into was prints. Now, prints are definitely a staple that you need in your collection. They are more dominant this year, I would say, so that's why I'm kind of throwing it into that trend, but I think not always those typical prints that you see will be in this year's trend. I think a lot of people will have these all over prints, like I've seen a lot of all over print jackets or all over print matching pants that kind of look like a picture instead of something repetitive, you get what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong, things like checkered prints or plaid will still be in this fall. Um, aside from the fact of it being on flannels, I think that it will be more dominant with pants, with suit jackets, with vests, and stuff like that. Now for the next topic, we gonna get into aesthetic. Now aesthetic, I know that word kinda gets thrown around way too much, but I feel like that's the only way you can kind of set a name on this topic. But um, overall, I just think this year is gonna be that year to bring back baggier clothes. Now for a super long time, everybody just wanted to wear like skinny jeans, tight this and tight that. But I think now people are a lot more comfortable with seeing you in baggier fit pants especially. Now I think this overall ties into the 90s vibe and I think 90s would definitely um, have a huge inspiration on fashion. Everybody knows that these time periods and fashion in general is kind of recyclable. So I think people are just gonna go ahead and pull at different inspirations from the 90s culture specifically just because 90s was like not too baggy but it was still like it was like a, a fitted baggy. Now with that being said, with the 90s vibe, I also wanted to throw in that track jackets or track pants are definitely gonna still be in style. I know they have definitely been popping more in like 2017. So I think it would just all go into play, man. Rocky and Needles dropped that pair of um, track pants where it had like the nice stripes and the butterflies and all that. So I think it will all still definitely be a thing here. Now for the next topic, we got workwear. Now workwear has definitely been really, really trendy for a minute now. Um, it's kind of always been a thing just because people throw it into their everyday work, <laughs> which is hence the word workwear. But now I think people are really taking it and putting it into more like a style aspect. I see a lot of brands collaborating with people like Carhartt or Dickies, and they're making these new kind of reinvented 
ways of looking at workwear. Now to throw some kind of subcategories in there with workwear, you got construction and you got like the more hiking type of a look. Construction is definitely responsible for a lot of the vests that we see today. Um, definitely those stiffer vests that I've showed earlier, those are kind of like stiff dickies. Um, with the with the ribbing on the side you got those then you got the neon vest the more like orange colored vest and then you kind of just have those jackets with um, I forget what they're called specifically but they have like the straps across it which I've seen them actually put on pants as well so that's definitely a look and with the hiking of course we've all seen different things with like elites making the hiking boots with Roa then you have Balenciaga kind of making trainers and hiking stuff so Everybody's kind of playing into this world and taking different inspirations. Now something that kind of doesn't have to do with workwear, but is kind of in that same range is leather. Now I think leather is really gonna have a great year because, but I don't know why I said that like leather was a person or something, but I just think leather is, is gonna be more of a staple piece. I don't know if people are gonna be like out here in all leather everything, but I definitely think leather pants is gonna be more of a staple this um this fall not necessarily those shiny leather pants like people used to wear way back in the day in like 2014 with migos and all them it was going crazy but i think though that kind of like matte leather look will definitely look nice on pants and would definitely look nice on a jacket next category we got tech wear tech wear it's really been a thing from like that 2016 2017 range I think a lot of people are kind of incorporating it a lot more because I see a lot more vests. I see a lot more um, tactical bags, tactical straps and stuff like that. So definitely tech wear has worked its way into an everyday look and the fashion um, kind of culture, I guess you can call it. But people and designers like Elite Studios, um, Louis Vuitton have all kind of worked in these kind of tactical vests and pants and stuff like that. Now the next category I got sweaters. Now I think this is pretty much the most obvious one of all because everybody brings out their nice sweaters for the fall. But to get kind of into specifics, I think those tight knit ribbed um, turtlenecks specifically would definitely be way more trendy this year. They were kind of trendier last year. Um, with J.W. Anderson dropping a lot of collabs with like Rocky and everything and they had like um, the like turtleneck zippers with the big O's on it. But I definitely think a lot more people have incorporated sweaters into their into their everyday looks. I think I seen one on Jaden Smith that was specifically had a lot of like huge cuffed ribbing, tight knit. I don't even know how to like kind of say it but I seen him wear one and it was kind of like a black and white. I'll definitely put the picture up but I thought that was really dope and I think that's something that more people will have in their wardrobe. Also in that sweater subcategory is cardigans. Now, y'all know I've been wearing cardigans a lot lately. I got the um, the green joint. I got the one from Forever 21 in my last video. But I think cardigans definitely is something that's super lightweight. And for those chillier days, but it's not cold, you can definitely throw on a cardigan and it will kind of fill out your whole look and add something else over top of your t-shirt or whatever you're wearing. Now this next category is jackets. Now jackets is kind of in that same thing of sweaters to where it's kind of obvious. We all know we need a jacket for um, fall, winter, but I just wanted to give you guys some looks and some different options if you're going to look for some. Now I think the one that I just wanted to get out the way first because it was already a trend in 2017, but puffer jackets. Now I've seen a lot of different people make different puffer jackets. We got like crazy ones like Montclair, which are like super inflated, like Michelin Man or something like that. And then you got Balenciaga. Um, you got some other brands that I just can't name off top, but those are kind of like those more dominant ones. A lot of places sell these. I know a lot of people were asking me about where to get them. You can really just check um, ASOS or like an Urban Outfitters or most people should have them by now, but if you're looking for like that more affordable price range, you can definitely check that out. And if you're looking for something more high end, maybe you can check like In Clothing or Farfetch or Scents or one of those type of places. Now within that same category, I think Sherpa will make a comeback. I know Sherpa was more popping in like 2016 when, I think that was 2016, when Supreme dropped that joint and it was like an all khaki Sherpa hoodie. I remember I wanted that so bad, man, but I could not find it anywhere. And then a lot of people were replicating it. Like, I think that brand's like Killian or Killian or something like that. They replicated one and everybody bought that one. So I think Sherpa will definitely have a new look this fall. 
I'm seeing people or different designers dropping colorways with like, I think I see a purple, a purple full Sherpa hoodie. Um, of course you've seen like a yellow one, but I just think Sherpa would definitely be, it would definitely be one of those cops this fall for sure. Now I'm not too sure how to categorize this jacket, um, but I think things with like that clear raincoat look would definitely be in this fall. Um, it might be kind of too new for everyone, but I definitely have seen some pieces this year that either are all one kind of like raincoat looking thing, or they'll have like different patches on it. Um, of just clear material on top of like a denim or something like that but I definitely think that can be incorporated into a new look this fall. So lastly in the jacket category I just wanted to name off a few type of materials that I think jackets are going to be made out of that are going to be trendy this fall. And those materials are definitely like a suede or nubuck. I've seen a lot of jackets especially like shirling coats and stuff like that are made out of that material and then they also have the um, Sherpa lining and stuff like that, or wool, I guess. And then you got corduroy, which I really think is gonna be popping as well. But besides those two, and then maybe like leather, but I already mentioned leather, so that's kind of like to sum up that, that jacket category. Now for this last category, we got boots. Now boots is definitely a staple that you need for the fall, cause you never really know when it might rain or um, I guess it could start snowing towards the end of fall, but it's kind of just a staple with that will kind of fill out your outfit. I really like when people wear boots with jackets and stuff like that because it has all one nice, mellowed out, evened out um, look to it. Like I mentioned earlier, I think hiking boots are definitely going to be in style. Um, hiking trainers are kind of already coming up, so definitely hiking boots are in there. I know Gucci made a hiking boot. Um, to name one, I'm trying to think of another one off top. But anyway, hiking is definitely gonna be a trend. Now, next we got Yeezy boots. Now, I know a lot of you seen the Yeezy season six boots. I have a pair and I've been wearing them a lot recently, but I've just seen them on everybody and I definitely think that those will be in for this fall. They really have a nice chunky look to them. They look real solid. I like how the outsole is made and Yeezy kind of always has had that, that super chunky soul look to it. So um, definitely looking forward to that. I know I've seen the sketches and everything that he's making more um, more stuff for the season. So we'll definitely see. Last, we got the Chelsea slash cowboy boots. Now these I think are really, really dope if you can pull them off right. I know this isn't really in everybody's kind of style, but I think personally, if you want to go more classy and you want to wear more jackets and denim, that denim on denim, I think Chelsea or cowboy boots are really, really dope. Um, people that pull them off really dope are maybe like, I see Lucas Sabat pull some off. Um, if you know Sanjeev, he pulls them off dope. Also, um, Gear Tour Gear or Avery, Avery, Avery Ginsberg, something like that. Those three people really pull off that kind of like boot look really well. So if you were looking for somebody to get inspiration off of, you can check them out. And I'm definitely, I would definitely be open to experiment with that. Um, I just think, I just think that's a clean look and it's kind of out of that quote unquote streetwear look. So definitely, you definitely gotta expand, expand your, your look on things. Now last, we got sneakers. Now sneakers, we all know, those chunky dash shoes are probably not going nowhere because that just that overall look is just stuck on people now everybody's making shoes like that so that's definitely here to stay but one that i wanted to throw in there was athletic trainers now i know athletic trainers have been around for forever and everybody's been wearing them but i think i've seen more brands incorporated and i've seen more people put it into their everyday style. I know um, Nike has dropped that one trainer, I forget the name of it, but I'll put the picture up. But they have those. I wasn't able to get my hands on those, which I'm, I'm low key kind of mad, but I don't want to pay resale and all that. But those are dope. Um, like I said, the Yeezy, like the runners, I, I don't even know what they're called because they're not out yet, but I've seen that they're throwing in those different type of meshes in kind of every shoe now. So everything kind of looks like a trainer or a runner. And of course, Nike has been at it for forever and they have the um, Prestos and all that. So I definitely think that's in trend, but besides that, just normal everyday sneakers. So for the most part, I think that will be everything for this fall. Now, obviously I probably missed some trends or I probably named some stuff that isn't really a trend, but 
um, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me let me know what you guys think will be in trend for this fall or what you guys are looking to buy. Besides that, make sure you guys go down, like this video if you're excited for fall and you think this video helped or something like that. Share it to a friend. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet. We almost at 20,000 subscribers, I think. So, yo, we climbing up, man. Granny gang, we here. We, might, we here to stay, man. So, um, definitely subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be making more content. If you guys have a personal request um, for a video that you want me to make, you can either like DM me on Instagram, comment it down below, um, ask me on Snapchat, any of that stuff. But um, I'll definitely try to read everything, you know what I'm saying? And get these videos out for y'all, man. I'll be making more stuff. Website stuff is coming soon too. So everything, we just... We trying to get on this road, man, but besides that, that's everything. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll be back to you with more. Peace. So they think I wanna die, yeah, cause my dose is suicide, yeah, bet my coffin would be nice, yeah, stay that bitch up with some ice.